Hello guys, welcome to your seventh Rails tutorial. And in this video, we're gonna talk about instance variables and also embedded Ruby. So let's open up um, a tennis studio or your editor of choice. And we're gonna start where we left off in our blog application. And this is just an example. We're not gonna be building a blog. We're gonna be doing some other things. So I'm gonna go to www. In our terminal, you could CD your way in there if you're using a text editor. And I'm going to CD to blog. And I'm going to start the web server. So Rails server. And I'm also going to start WAMP. So I already have it. I already have started up. So if you haven't, make sure it's green and then you're good to go. So what is instance variables? Well, first let's go to application folder, controller, and open up our example. So this is where we left off in the redirect. And let's open up its um, associated view, which is going to be in the folder example and let's open up the demo so what instance variables allow us to do is send information from the controller to the to the view so let's say I, I wanted to send an array of, of objects of information so I could write it in as an instance variable so the way we do it with instance variables you put obviously the add sign in if you don't recall too much about Ruby, I'm making a series of Ruby tutorials, which you can check them out if you want. So I'm going to make um, an array of people. And I'll just put random names. So Joe, um, Eric, it's me, um, Victor, and one more. Uh, Doe, whatever. So we want to access this particular information we want it in our view right so let's save this here and let's go back to our, our view so remember that there there was a hidden one right here right so render and then I'm just gonna put it explicitly so demo so I'm gonna render this demo here this demo this demo view which is this one right here so let's delete this and let's see how we could actually access this information here First of all, I want you to note that the extension in our view folder, in our view file, is html.erb. ERB is embedded Ruby. What it's going to allow us to do is to embed Ruby code and such as variables or, you know, multiplication or whatever. And then it's going to parse it and output its equivalent HTML, which is going to be basically all string, right? HTML is nothing but strings. So let's see how we could do that. So if I want this people array, I want this information here. The way we do it is we have two ways of um, of putting things here in our embedded Ruby. The first is going to be the output. So if we wanted to do something like put something, so let's go here. Um, you do the open, you know, the open tag, and then we put the parentheses and then the equal sign. This means basically a shortcut for puts. So equals and then space. I'm going to put um, this is being outputted, right? And I'm going to format it a little bit. I'm going to put a space. So up to this point here, I'm not embedding any Ruby here. I'm just, um, you know, putting a simple string here. So it's basically like saying puts. This is being output. So let's just go to our to our um, our server here, our browser. So at this point, I want you to know that I'm not being, I'm not using this right now. I'm just wanting to show you how the embedded Ruby works. So let's go to localhost, localhost, port 3000. We're going to our controller, which is going to be example, followed by our our action, which in our case is going to be demo. And this demo action is going to render the demo view. So let's hit enter. And as we see here, this is being outputted. So this is basically the same as saying puts. This is being outputted. Now the other thing we could do here is take out this print, this equals on here, and this is basically going to return a value to us. So if we refresh here, we get nothing because we're not outputting it to the screen here. This is just processing, right? This is just returning here. So. I know that you know you might think this is not be useful, but let's see let's see how it's going to be useful in our situation. So let's delete this here and save it. 
So I want to get this information here, right? The way we do it is, remember that we have iterations. Uh, we do something like the object dot each. So let's do that. Let's open up our tag, then the parentheses, and I'm going to do the, the instance. Here's going to be people. So people dot each. This is the same thing as you would do it in a regular Ruby file, except we're putting it in, in this tags here. Dot each do I'm gonna put person and then space and now I'm not going to do this because this is probably what you're thinking puts and then the person we cannot do this we just it's, um, we're not able to do this in Ruby and embedded Ruby you're able to do this in certain um, certain frameworks in PHP but I'm, I'm afraid you're not able to do it in Ruby and on uh, rails and I think the reason is because they want you to have a little more structure and it looks a little neater so the way we do it is we take this part off and then we we're gonna hit enter and now here is where we're gonna put put so let's open up our new a new tag here and put the parentheses and the equal so here is the put so I'm just gonna say the person's name is and then that's what I'm gonna use the, the variable here so put person and just for a little format and I'm gonna put a BR tag otherwise it's gonna be all you know all together and I'm gonna end it just like I do in a regular Ruby file so end and I actually have a little shortcut here I just hit end and then press the tab key and it's gonna automatically create my end tag okay so let's save this and um, let's go over to our browser so we're expecting to get this information from here being passed down by using instance variables and I'll put in you know every single name here so let's refresh and as we, you see we get you know the output here uh, one thing I want to talk about here is this little minus sign here this is basically optional nowadays since back in the days they used to put it for formatting purposes uh, though I'm gonna leave it on here because my specific um, IDE actually puts it on there but we could just leave it off just as easily so if I save this and I refresh we get the same thing here so that's just something to note so the basic idea here is to wrap it around this tag here with the percentage sign to do an operation and we want when we want to output something we just do it with the equal sign now this actually gets pretty annoying and it looks a little a little bad at first but then once we introduce something called Hamel it's gonna look a lot neater so that's the basic ideas here if we wanted information from the controller we use input I mean instance variables and then we access this like this over here and you could you know iterate through them with uh, with this each command here each method Okay, that's all for now, and um, thank you for watching, and I'll see what I'll, you know, maybe in the next tutorial I'll cover the databases.